To become a creative professional, it's more than just talent. You need integrity, drive, and the discipline to never miss a deadline. Let's hear what your industry experts say it takes to succeed in this competitive industry. My name is Jerome Grant. I am a graphic designer by trade. Um, I uh, grew up in uh, New York City, New York. I attended the Fashion Institute of Technology, and I have been in this business for several decades. Well, I'll tell you, one of the things that I have noticed um, over the past seven or eight years now that I've been teaching uh, is that a lot of our young talent, and they are talented, but they're missing some of what I call the soft skills. These soft skills are, are essential to how you will either succeed or fail uh, in business. The successful uh, type of student is very self-motivated and um, they seek out more than just what we give them. So when they come to my class, I just ask them to really think outside of the box. And it's more difficult than you think. One of my goals is to teach my students that it doesn't matter where or when you start, um, everything is possible. It doesn't matter the time, the age, the, the, how you're struggling in your personal life. You can do it if you want to. I expect my students to do their best and of course that's something you really see in, in, in when they deliver any uh, project. And now you're actually dealing with people on a professional level. And I'm saying to say, I'm saying that to say to you that relationship, that's how you grow. Being creative, very, very important. Much more important, relationships. Relationships. You need to design for your client and you need to be prepared for a no. You need to be prepared for a retouch to any image, any design, any concept. In the classroom, since I am an active professional, I will talk to the students directly about how much certain things would cost, how I would approach certain projects in the real world. In many cases, you had to turn it around, in some cases, in a day. Communicate with the client, show them uh, proofs of the job as they progress, hit deadlines. So in other words, yes, you may think you're the greatest designer on the planet, but the bottom line is, you have to look at your client and make sure you service your client's needs. If the client says something is due at a certain time, they don't call you, guess what? You send them an email, you make a phone call, you be proactive, you make sure you follow through until the job is complete. Most of what you are going to learn, or most of what you're going to accomplish in this world, regardless of the discipline, has nothing to do with formal education, but it has everything to do with being a person of integrity. That your yes be yes, your no be no, hit your deadlines. Make sure that if you say something, you do something. When you leave here, I will give you the skills, not only just the technical skills, but also this, the, uh, those soft skills to be the best you can be in industry.